اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد الرسول الله صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي respected viewers and listeners assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the segment which i have read is from surah al fath meaning victory chapter 48 verse number 29 This is the segment Allah says Muhammadur Rasulullah Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Respected viewers today the topic is the biography of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and especially today the message is to the western world This message is based on the knowledge the logic and the tribute which the old people the giants of literature they gave to prophet muhammad peace be upon him this is the irony of fate that today people do not recognize this great personality i dare to the people the western people go and read the biography of prophet muhammad peace be upon him you will be never you will never be able to find a better candidate than him is a challenge open challenge since his birth till the doomsday there is a logger head in the western civilization the brainwashing the programming against prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is going on since his birth and this thing has escalated too much because of this social media the era which we are living today that is why these western people they are getting too much bold to do all these monkey tricks all these caricaturing on our nabi prophet muhammad peace be upon him under the pretext of freedom of speech poor people they don't realize that this is not the freedom of speech freedom of speech is to show your opinion not to abuse someone not to be little someone to show your point of views that is freedom of speech and islam has given this in the most utmost utmost uh, way islam has given this that you have a right opinion any matter comes to you you have a complete right either to denounce it or to support it unless it does not contradict to the tenet of islamic teachings what are those quran and sunnah but rest of the things are all secretary you can manage it through analogical induction or analogical deduction we call it qiyas concerning this uh, thinking which contemplating you can make a decision it's not a big deal but today the western people the made the terminology deliberately that freedom of speech is basically is the philosophy now which is only used against prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam unfortunately this is happening and today i'm going to educate these people about the biography of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i dare to them to find any better candidate than him and still if you do not accept him it means that you are devilish you are devils in just like a disguised in some angelic clothes that's all because this is hypocrisy intellectual hypocrisy all of the people right now what are they doing to provide a better system why this communism happens why this socialism happened why this capitalism happened to provide economical justice but if there is a better economical justice already available why are you not taking advantage of it it means you have a crooked heart you have a crookedness in your heart and that is why you are not obliged to take that allah says in the quran that we have given all the solution to your problems in this book chapter 17 verse 
but the major part of you people are puffed up with pride and gratitude. Die hard, you know, prejudice is die hard. That's the problem. The iron has been entered into your hearts and iron will be removed only. Sorry, not iron, rusting. Uh, forgive me my words. Rusting has been, you know, entered into the hearts of the people. And how to remove the rust when you keep, uh, you know, remembering the death, that the death is going to come anytime. You are not here forever. That is the only thing which will make you realize that your time will up one day. This message is purely to the Western people who think that it's okay to make cartoon against Prophet ﷺ. It's okay to do whatever we want under the pretext of freedom of speech. Please control yourself. Freedom of speech, there must be a threshold. You can't just cross every limits. Can I swear your father and mother? Can I call them bastards? Now you're going to say that, no, this is not freedom of speech. You are attacking me personally, harassing me. You know, there's a very, you know, common word in America, harassment. You know, everybody's getting harassed. Oh, the neighbor has thrown something on my Porsche. Uh, harass, harassment case. Mm -hmm. What about Prophet Sallam? Which we revere more than our parents. More than anything, we have a connection in this world. And his wives are the mothers of the believers. His wives are like our mother. They are our mothers. They are more, more far superior than our own mothers, the blood mothers, the biological mothers. What are you talking about? You can, you know, they stab us with your knife or with the dagger of freedom of speech and you want us to be quiet, mums the mouth. This will not work. You better change your policies. France, Mr. Mahron, Whatever your name is, change your policy. You will apologize. You have to apologize whatever you've done. And you are annoying people. And you are making the situation that you are not ashamed of yourself. You should be. Do not forget what Islam has given you in your France. Sir. What happened to the Frankish Empire? Go and read. What did you learn from Muslim Spain? What did you learn when you people from French, these youngsters, from France, from Italy, from Germany, they used to come and take advantage from our universities. Don't forget that. You have forgotten all those things. Now you are following the songs of Roland. You are following all those Frankish empire. Go and read about Charles Menier. Your Frankish empire, what was he? He was a religious, devoted person. He wasn't like you, who was supporting uh, those caricaturing of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. La Martin, why have you blocked him? Why have you blocked his little? He was French, your man. La Martin, what he says, I got salute Muhammad. Salute from my head and from my heart. This is tribute those people are given. You blocked, you banned his pages, you banned his literature. Why? Because you are afraid of something. You are afraid of the system of Islam, the social, political, economic system. The accustomed life you have. The life of producing illegitimate, illegitimate children, the life of drinking wine all the time, drunkards, the life of gambling, the life of intoxicant, the life of clubbing, all this life of capitalism, uncontrolled capitalism, uncontrolled internal to external capital management, those things will go exposed. That's the problem. Or you have a personal grudge. You have a personal grudge on Prophet How can you let you how let how can you let your people under you? You are the leader of a country. Under you, people are making one of the biggest personalities. Not one, the only person on this earth, only person on this earth ever lived, the greatest man ever lived, Michael H. Hart, Muhammad peace be upon him. Because he was supremely successful both in the religious fields and secular fields. This is what Prophet Muhammad Look at what tribute has been given to him by different great people. Not like you. Who has a compounded small heart. I am giving you the message, the people of France. About Prophet 
you should boycott this cartoon company. Those people are useless, garbage. You can sense their business. You can sense a smell, a garbage in their business. They are caricaturing not even Prophet Sallallahu every religious figure, every person. And you take this under the freedom of speech. They, are, they wanted you to become tolerant. They want you to stab at your back. They want you to expose your mothers on the, on the streets. This is what you want to be? Like animals? Is that what we humans are made of? We have our personal dignity. We have our personal integrity. And nobody has a right to take it away. This is your personal rights. This is the rights from human rights department. The basic fundamental 30 elements. Which you have it in you. And nobody can take it away. And that's the number one is self-respect. Nobody has a right. And we have the greatest person in our hearts is living Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And you are telling us and you are justifying it. You still have not apologized yet up to this date that I am sorry whatever happened. You just gave statements which you call ambiguous statements which is not sure what you are talking about. You must apologize. And the people of France, listen today the biography of Prophet Sallallahu our beloved Rasulullah what did he do? He came for the whole mankind. Oh Muhammad peace upon him, we have not sent you to the particular Arabs, but we have sent you to the whole mankind as a mercy. Chapter 21, verse 107, Surah Al-Anbiya. He came for the whole world. Walakin Aksar in Nasi La Yala Moon, Surah the Sabah, Chapter 34. Allah mentioned again, O oh Muhammad, Sallallahu we have not sent you, but for the whole mankind as a Rahmah. But the major part of people do not know you. And this is what I'm telling you, I'm educating you that who he was. You have forgotten him. You know, Jews before Prophet, Sallallahu Allah said in the Quran, the Jews have known Prophet ﷺ more than their own children. He is the last Prophet for the whole mankind. Sir, your whole country is under Prophet ﷺ. You have no idea. You are following his good all morality, sobriety, piety. You have rules in your constitution are basically coming extraction from the teachings of Prophet ﷺ. By the hook or by the crook? Uncon sorry, consciously or subconsciously? You are following Prophet Sallallahu This whole world is following consciously or subconsciously to the teachings of Prophet Sallallahu The only thing is that either you know it or you are ignorant of that. But you are ultimately following him. Tell me who gave you the whole system of police? Umar ibn al-Khattab. Who gave you system of controlling the management? Umar ibn al-Khattab. Who was he? Second Khalifa of Muslims. He was the second Khalifa of Muslims. And he gave you all these things. How to And who gave the blueprint? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He is the one who gave everything. How to deal with animals. How to deal with little children. How to deal psychological states he has given you he the whole system of education given to by muslims to you people go and read the biography of ibn khaldun all the system of education you have in your department sir is coming from him look at the scientists muslim spain morris you call them morris of spain go and read about them you only know few things and you are all the, those few things are negative brainwashed Perpetually brainwashed concepts, but you do not know. Go and read the Seerah of Prophet. Go and read the Seerah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. What did he do for the humanity? What did what thing I challenge, what thing he gave you which you shouldn't have, or which was wrong against the morality of human beings? Either you talk it as an objective morality or subjective morality. He gave you everything. How to live, how to spend your life, how the economical skeleton we have it, social skeleton we have it, then political skeleton we have it. He gave you how to lead your life, how to be a human beings.
not like homo sapiens biological animals. Look at the French woman, sir. Your women are coming to Islam. France is coming to Islam. Europe is coming to Islam. Is that the thing which is threatening you? George Bernard Shaw said in Royal Albert Hall, the religion which is going to conquer England, nay Europe, within the hundred years, within a century, is Islam. Is that the reason? And he said it in 1850s. Is that the reason? Is that the reason you are making this up and hurting Muslims and justifying your own country with the freedom of speech? Sir, you invite trouble, you're going to get one. Don't think Muslims are weak. Don't think that they are slumbering. Every nation has a right. If you try to break it, then you're going to pay the price. You are living in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone. And this whole world was made because of the Prophet ﷺ. Yes, I can say it without any hesitation. Why? The last seal of the prophets is Prophet, peace be upon him. And due to that, everybody will be judged who is going to heaven or hell. So he is the reason, ultimate reason for the children of Adam that all this thing was created because of him. Otherwise, what's the reason? Why are you here and me? What, what's the purpose? What you going to do after your death? So you should people, you people should wake up. You should think what's happening around you. Don't be fooled. You should boycott this, this company who's making cartoons against Prophet Sallam. The other guy, that Satan, that Satan who in Denmark, who also spoke against Prophet Sallam. What happened? You can't do anything to him. I'm telling you, <laughs> Prophet Sallam's biography, his, his legacy, you can't even scratch a doodle on him. Nothing you can do to him. The legacy of Prophet ﷺ, you can't do anything, anything to him. And you know it. You know it. You are desperate. Desperate people are those who cannot talk with logic. We cannot talk with education. So the best way I can do it, I will start making, you know, uh, derogatory things against you. That's the best thing I can do. I can't stop you, but I can do something else which can hurt you. That's what you are doing. Childish attitude. Absolutely. Come, I say, come and bring a better candidate other than Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu You French people, you Frankish, bring. Then we're going to see. You know, you people are the claws. You are the followers, you're puppets. Where is your own ideology? Tell me. Where is your own religious identity? Where? Where do you come from? What do you have? Where are you going? You should wake up before the death arrives. The education of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Listen now. Allah mentioned his name four times in the Quran. Four times. Surah Ali Imran, the family of Imran. Chapter 3, verse 144. Then he is mentioned in Surah Ahzab, the coalition. Chapter 33, verse number 40 in the Quran. Then he is mentioned in Surah Muhammad. The whole surah has been dedicated under his name. Chapter 47, verse number 2. And in the last, in Surah Al-Fat, the victory which I gave you in the beginning of my talk, chapter 48, verse number 29. And the fifth time he has been mentioned with the other name, Ahmad, the praised one. You can't do anything. His name meant the praised one. He has to be praised. Five times a day, Muslim says, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasul. Every time we pray, we say peace and blessings to Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> Angels and Allah say salam to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu What you gonna do? You can't do anything. So his name is Ahmad, mentioned in the fifth time from the mouth of Jesus Christ. The gospel I'm gonna bring a good news. Is about the coming of the last Rasul and the Messenger and Prophet, and that is Muhammad. His name shall be Ahmad. This is the legacy of Prophet Muhammad. Quran. Five times is mentioned, four times with Muhammad, and the fifth time with Ahmad. When he was born, look at this. Orphaned. Father died. Then after a few years, mother died, doubly orphaned, raised by grandfather, then raised by his uncle. Abu Talib, Abdul Mutlib, grandfather, then they died. 
slowly and slowly they all died. And when at the age of 40, he was contemplating, by the way, according to the Gregorian calendar, he was born in 570 AD. At the age of 40, 610, the first revelation came to him. Iqtara. Look at the revelation. Read. The best, the first thing for a human being Allah taught in the Quran is to read. And you are calling us ignorant people? How dare you call us ignorant people when our whole system starts from read. Read in thy name of your Lord. Iqra bi ismi rabbikal radhi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Who has created you from congealed blood of clot? Who has taught you many new things to come? And who will teach you the use of a pen? Who gave these things? How can you imagine a guy who is bringing this, the first revelation? 40 days contemplation around the cave of Hira. He was contemplating. And then the 40th night, after that, Jibreel, alayhi salam, Archangel Gabriel, he came and said, Muhammad say, Iqra, three times. And he then he understood because he was unlearned. He was not learned, unlettered prophet. And then he said, Ma'ana biqarim, I am not learned. I am not learned. And the third time he understood, the word Iqra means to rehearse, to repeat. And then say Iqra. Then angels say, Iqra bi ismi rabbika lazi khalaq. Read in thy name of your God. Rab, Iqra bi ismi rabbika khalaq. Khalaq al insana min alaq. Who has created you from congealed blood of clot. And he is your bountiful. He's so bountiful. And he taught you many new things. And he taught you the use of pen. Pen is the power and read is the literature. Read is something. Hadaya, repeat, read, education. Since then, Prophet ﷺ is getting a revelation which we have in the 23 years of prophetic life. Al-Quran, criterion. Tabaraka allazi nazzal al-furqana ala abdihi li yakuna lil-alamina nazira. Chapter 25, meaning the criterion. Verse 1. Blessed is Allah who has sent down this Quran on his abd that he may be the warner for the whole of the world's mankind. Who warner? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For the world, he's not came from the Arabs. This is our bad part, Muslims, that we are failed to educate the Western. We did in our past. We're still doing it. But we, we, we didn't do it the way, the threshold. We should have it. Is supposed to have it. We are failed. And we are sorry for that. But the reality still remains intact. That Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the last messenger. And nobody is coming after him. And the message he is giving you. The rights of women. Why Islam, the Western woman is coming to Islam? Because they have read it. The rights they gave you, Muslims gave to them. You don't follow the media. What they are talking about. What Muslims are doing with their women. Don't follow that. See what Quran says. Whole surah has been dedicated to Muslims. Sorry, this is a woman in the Quran. Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4. Read the whole, which document you have, a holy document, which talks about the woman. Tell me, is it Bible? Is it what you have some kind of satanic books? If you have some satanic books, secret society books, Illuminatium, tell us. Which book is giving a right to the, the woman only, other than Islam. None. And especially the holy book. You can bring many books, literature books of people, of psychologists, sociologists. Look, any religious book which is giving a tribute to only woman folk is Islam, Quran. And you talk that we are against women? You are living in haze. You are living in mire and gutter. And you are telling people, what should we do? No, sir, you don't teach us. You don't teach us, take us, take something from us. You cannot teach them anything other than showing your weapons, other than powers of weapons, that's all. You can't show anything us how to live better, how to do this, how to do on the hygiene, on this, on that. Alhamdulillah, you can't teach us. That is why Muslims are the least affected people for coronavirus, because five times we pray and we wash our hands, we wash our feet, the most apparent part of the body. Five times, and I can say easily,
the Muslims are the least affected people of this virus, Alhamdulillah, thumma, Alhamdulillah, because of our lifestyle. The fields of science, the fields of social, political, economic systems, hold the system you have, hold the state crafting you have. Who gave you? From where did you learn? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and four guided caliphates, they gave you. If you don't believe me, tell me, what was your civilization? What was your civilization at the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Tell me. Dark ages. Europe was in dark ages. Italian Renaissance came from where? From which inspiration? Islamic Muslim Maurice of Spain learned so many things from them. Or was it your initiative? Show me from where. Then Protestant people, when they got bold, they got their own Anglican church. And then the Western churches with the Orthodox, they got clashes. You know that Henry IV and Pope Gregory VII, how did they did clash one another, the German emperor. And then after that, everything was separated. These people, go and see yourself how you people have it. Then what happened this patriarch of Constantinople? Why he got separated from the western part? Because of all these things which you have, point of views, point of views. And all these starting of point of views that we should not have this system, we should not have the system. Who gave you? Who gave you the mouth of bringing justice? The Muslims, Spain, sir. That was the problem which you people faced it. Accept that. And these all things happening, we call it historical contemporaries. It was basically somehow connection to the liberty which Muslim gave to women and Muslim gave. How many women you were having in those in the past? Tell me. You are trying to teach us that you are better and Islam is bringing all this bad? No. Muslims have become bad. I agree. But don't talk about Muhammad Wasallam. Don't talk about our Nabi. If you talk about him, then we will give you a sledgehammer. And you will take it, inshallah. So please, I'm telling again and again, for us in this dunya, nothing is greater than Prophet Wasallam. All the extraction of knowledge, exfoliation of knowledge in the West is Quran. I tell many times in the people, to the people that it is Quran which brought all these revolutions. Inner core. The inner core of the Western, of the Western civilization is Quranic. Allah mentioned in the Quran all those things which you have made. Industrial revolution. All those things came in Islam. The scientific knowledge. But yes, when the Western people, they use industrial revolution, they did it in a different way. Injustice happened. That's why the books have been written. Adam Smith worrying about only few things and how to get rich and rich and rich. Then that's where socialism came. Das Kapital, Karl Marx. It is indeed when the Europe came, broke their age of ignorance, there was a blast of knowledge. But I said, origin, where did it origin from? Originate Islam. Muslims of Spain, the universities of Cordoba, the University of Grenada, talk about them. Why are you not talking about those universities? You know why? Because you know that once you open that box, all things will be solved. But you people don't want to educate, changing the names of Muslim scientists, even Heizem to Hezem, Gibraltar, Jablutari to Gibraltar. So nobody catches what's happened in the past, why these names are sound like this. Prophet Muhammad he gave the message to the whole world. Ana Muhammad, Ana Ahmad, la nabiya ba'di. I am the Ahmad, I am Muhammad. There is no prophet who will be coming after me. You should listen to him. There is no salvation. All people are obliged to follow Prophet Muhammad You are the ummati, ghair ummati of Prophet meaning which are depending on the message. And Muslims are the people who receive the message. And it's our duty to give to you. Islam provides social justice for 300 years. Humanity is being searching from east to west, west to east for social justice. Muhammad gave it already. 
and we didn't even give. These are not just sermons of beatitude of Jesus of Nazareth, but this is in real. We did imply, we did, we did show you through the teachings and through the actions of four guided caliphates. We showed to the world. Omar, what did Napoleon Bonaparte say, sir? The French general, your French who did Napoleonic wars, which was stopped at the Battle of Waterloo. You know that all these histories, don't be naive. What did he do? He said it. He said it. If this world produced two Umar, Umar ibn al-Khattab, there will be peace in the West and the East. This is what tribute he by because they know these people. They were learned people. And French Revolution 1776 happened because of the kingship. They said, who is they are better than? And then the taxes on, uh, too much taxes on peasants and not on the noble classes. And the revolution came and brought into deadly revolution. And there's a time of terrorization. You talk about terrorists. You talk that Muslims are this. Talk about your terror era. Where anybody who speak against something, chop him, kill him. Talk about guillotine. What are these guillotines business going in the past? Talk about that. So if you try to spit, if you try to spit on the horizon, the spit will come back to you. You can never reach to the sublimity of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He is on the highest pinnacle. His stature, you can't even close, go to near to his stature. You're just wasting your time. It's better to change your policies and accept Muhammad Sallallahu Accept as him, as he's the only teaching which should be successful in the Western civilization. No other teaching will stand, sir. I'm telling you, because if you read his teachings, Unfortunately, look, Muslims failed to apply that. We agree. We are failed. But don't attack our Nabi. That's our concern. If we are bad, don't talk about our Nabi. Point to the bad people. So that's the only crux of the matter which I'm trying to tell you. Prophet Sallallahu the best man ever lived on this world. He was a general. He was a Nabi, he was a prophet, he was a legislator, he was a good husband, good father, he was a commander in army, he was the highest in spirituality, he was the highest in the secular fields, he is doing everything, he is also the king, he is also the ruler, he is also like acting like a normal person, he is giving to the people the commands, don't put your heart in this world. Imagine yourself that you are just a journey as a traveler who's sitting in the shadow of a tree. You're just passing like this. Look at his teachings. And the going to the wars, he's commanding, do not cut the trees, don't kill animals, don't kill babies, don't kill children, don't touch women. Only kill the person, not even the old man, feeble, but only touch the person who's trying to catch you or who's just going to kill you, then hit him back. On the battlefield, he's giving these instructions. Who gave these instructions? Any general in the past history. Did Napoleon Bonaparte give it? Give it or not? Tell me. Did he give these kind of instructions on his the battlefield? I dare know. It's the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. While victory to Fatah Makkah, when everything was under his hand, he forgave all the kuffar. And while he was going, there was a small uh, animal or I think so, a cat or a dog, puppy, on, on the way. And he said that don't go that way because the puppy is sitting. You have to just turn and make another way telling to his disciples. Don't crush it. Munkin can get stampeded under your feet. Is that the person you're saying is a problem for you? I can quote you whole day night about the virtues of Prophet ﷺ, but the time is not there. You won't be able to comprehend. So I suggest the whole Frank, Franks, all the Western people, especially the France, Go and read the seerah of Rasulullah so Go and read the biography of Prophet Then you will be able to realize that nothing has been ever lived greater than this man. Even the Western people gave him tributes. And all those things he gave you. He gave you the just system. Fight back for your positions and also give your right cheek if somebody slaps on the left one. Don't be all the time defiant. Don't be all the time hard on other person. He also avoid abeyance, that don't be abeyant all the time. Fight back for your rights. You have a 
complete right. You should have a tenacity of doing something. But everything has been given in some kind of particular orders and parameters in Islam. Islam is the controlled system in a social political economic and it makes you to the better life of hyg in hygiene in all things sobriety, piety and charity. We are the highest people on earth. I said bring any candidate. You are helpless without Muslims empire. You are helpless without Muslims scientific pioneered knowledge. Don't try to tell us that you are better than us. Follow Muhammad Sallallahu and that is a salvation. If you don't follow him, you are certainly going to hell. This is the message of Quran to the whole of the world. Follow him if you are to be salvaged and extricated.